I made a mistake with my life. A serious mistake. What did I say? An average person seated in this room, I am older than you. I turned 40 April 27th. So, I want to talk to my younger ones in a serious way. And I hope you will pay attention. Feel free to criticize me. Amen. Feel free to laugh. Pastor Samuel was talking about purity. I caught one boy laughing. Hello? Impurity is numb for you. But I am coming back for you sometimes this week. Listen to me now. I made a mistake with my life. So I want to speak to you as an elder brother to what? Younger ones. And I hope you will pay attention. And if you can do anything with this message, as much as you want, but don't make the same mistake. Please, do anything you want. Laugh. Tell me I am crazy. I'm going to tell you the story of my life. And then I'm going to use it to warn you. Using the word of God. Now the Bible says that Israel decided to go their own way. They wanted to become like every other person. And they said, give us a king, right? That's where we read. And so, Samuel was sad. I said, why would you ask for a king? And then we, the Lord said, don't be sad. It is not me, they re, it is not you they rejected. It is what? I, they rejected. So who did Israel reject when they decided to have king? God. And then God gave them some conditions and Israel said, we don't care what to say. Just give us a king. And so they took the king and the Bible says that Saul was anointed the first king in Israel. Are we together? After the judges, Samuel was the last judge. And of course, Samuel was three persons. I mean, he was a prophet, he was a priest, he was a judge, right? Now the Bible says that he, Samuel, literally, are you with me? Told them that on so 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 and so day, we are going to gather and I'm going to unveil. There is a day of unveiling. Your king to you. And then they started coming family by family. And then on the long run, Saul, the son of what? Kish was chosen. The book says that they looked for him and they could not find him. You know why they could not find him? He was hiding where? Under the stuff. So when they could not find him, the Bible says, they asked God, is he going to come? Is this the right man? And God said, yeah. Look, he is there. I know where he is. Some of you don't know that God sees where you are. When you start Lautech marriage, you are living with a boy. You don't know that God sees where you are. When you are a polygamous bachelor, you don't know that God sees where you are. Some of you are polygamous spinsters. God sees where you are. And so, they went and fetched him. Let me give you the last part of that, that page again. The Bible says, as soon as they found him, they brought him forth, right? Look at verse number 23 again. I won't find the guy. Look at the Bible. 1023 says, and they ran and fetched him tents. And when he stood, now, you know before, he was what? Hiding amongst the stuff. Under. Hello? As soon as he what? Stood. Look at the next statement. That, and when he stood among the people, look at the next statement. He was what? He, had, he was higher than any of the people from his what? Shoulders and up, no body was as high as his shoulder. Let me ask you a question. When he was hiding in the stuff, who was higher than him? Everybody. Even the stuff 
was higher than him. Everybody was higher than him. But as soon as he got out of the stuff, he became the what? The highest man. There are God deposited gifts in your life, folks, that you are chosen to bury. And for as long as you bury it, you remain underdogs. You remain irrelevant. You remain useless. The challenge this week is for you to what? To arise. There is a position for you that God wants to put you. There is a work that God has for you. There is a will of God that you need to fulfill that will bring glory to God's name and that will lift your life up. But if you choose to stay in the stuff, you will not get there. God will not tamper with your will, though. You have a choice to stay amongst the stuff or get out of the stuff. In 1996, I got saved at Victory Independent Baptist Church in Nevada. In fact, I'm telling you that I have been going to soul winning, getting, I was trained as soul winner, and I, I knew all the verses, and I never received Jesus myself. I was still trusting my works. Until the second day of October, year 1996, I was a 15 year old young man that day in my house, and I, I, I took a John of Romans. I still have that John of Romans to today. I'm telling you. And I went through all those mad passages again. It was right after another church service. And I opened it. Line my line. Read Romans 3.10 to myself. Read Romans 3.23 to myself. Read Romans 5.12 to myself. Read Romans 5.18 to myself. Read Romans 5.8 to myself. Read Romans 6.23 to myself. And then I received God's gift of eternal life. I can almost promise you I got, I got baptized some weeks later. I can almost promise you I knew God wanted me to be a preacher. Right after that. I almost promise you, I, this, this men have known me that long and they could almost say that this guy is going to become a preacher. I knew God wanted me to preach. Just what the preacher said is just the right thing that happened to me. I decided that it is not his will, but mine. When my life is supposed to be not my will, but what? Dying. I chose to pick my own will above the will of God. So I wrote jam. In essence, to I wrote Wahek. I had already passed maths, English, and I think physics. Yoruba, of course, everybody used to score here one Yoruba and a Greek. Everybody used to pass biology too. And I already passed. I had F9 in chemistry. My father speaks some very good English. One day I poured water on the floor, and the man looked at me and shake and I said, I'm a town of school of science. I'm not going to die. Better look at death nine in chemistry. Grossly irresponsible. That's the English. You know the meaning of gross in mathematics is one hundred and what? Forty-four. My sister used to tell me, hey, Baba said you are one hundred and forty-four times. Yes. The people that I taught that chemistry, including one of my own sisters, she had C5. When I went and cheated in God, the Bible says the, the servant that knows the will of the Father and dread it not will receive more stripes. I fail. I fail seriously. I wrote, I wrote it again in, in SS3. I had A3. Is this, is this that we used to do A, B, C in Y? We used to do only A, C, and P, and F. This A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H. You, you know how to waste our time, but it's okay. We forgive you. I passed. So I enrolled in 99 to PDS in Nauke. A P night, I used to run the tutorial class. I had people, students that were attending tutorial with me. When I entered law tech, I was given admission to three departments. Agronomy. Physics and medicine. We were 640 
that they gave admission into medicine in LaTeX that year. And our university has accreditation for 50 people. Because you people came up and said you are the best. I forgive you. Kai. I knew I was supposed to preach. I sit in my room and they dream about preaching. In fact, I used to run, I started Independent Baptist Student Fellowship. I registered it solely. I mean, I know you gave me the money for registration. I know what I am saying very well. I preach in a, in, a, in a prayer meeting every Wednesday. And I don't preach from Quran. I preach from the Bible. You'll be shocked that I, I've never gone to Bible college and I, I, I had Bible. I'm telling you. I will open Bible and you will like what I read. Because it will help you adapt, even at that time. And I know how to fight too. Some, some very bad fights. Name anything. I love going to church. I love preaching. Look, I'm not asking you to become a preacher tonight. I'm asking you to find the will of God and do it. Because of course, you ladies can never be preachers. You understand what I mean? If somebody calls you pastor, Mrs. Tell the person she's not doing you any favor. But it's okay. Stay with me. I was in university. And I finished under level well. And they did not give me advice to withdraw. So we started this thing. Medicine. Kosa in college, Bobuanani bag. Kate Moore. Danong. Gaiti. You know all those big, big books? Ah. I'm a vinta. I'm a vinta. I'm a vinta. I'm a vinta. You'll be walking and people will be saying, Doctor. I prefer to be called Doctor than Pastor. Doctor. I say, Thank you, sir. Doctor. After 200 levels. And they say advice to repeat. You see, that nonsense advice is not supposed to be an instant order to write to repeat. I'm sure my name was like number 12 or 13 on the list. About 350 or 450 of us repeated one time. Oh. So we run again. We took it serious. When I fall, I will rise. Is that not the message? I, truly, I rose. As soon as I finished, it just called me and said, you have passed. Second time, I pass. Don't be small pass, oh. Enter 300. Then we started all those cadaver business again. Hello? I, only God knows the number of dead bodies I've touched in my life. It's not the ones that I use for service, so that I pray that God comfort their family. You will be caught human being like this. Who is in anatomy? There are plenty there. Some of them you will see, you will see bullet holes on their thigh. You know all those sartorials? Eh? Ah, it's not a joke. Che, famore, tibiare, fibulare. I used to know those things well. Oh. One day, I, some Greek students, they, 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 they learned glycolysis in the level, they did not know it. In biochemistry, I've been. is glycolysis that is in, bio, is in biochemistry. All those six C's that you now go, go and put H, H, O, H, and some things. Eh. I used to know those things well. Oh. See, the level, now we do exam again, I have to. Say repeat. It remains 0.2. To pass physiology. I pass chemistry. I pass anatomy. I pass I pass my chemistry. I say. Say, if I if I fall, I will what? I knew God's will was for me to preach. 
I knew. I'm not lying to you. I knew. When I started reading in three other levels, I don't used to understand anything, so I just started going to play drugs. Some things are not just kids. See, my name was number one amongst advice to withdraw. I suffered though. And I was standing in one place like this. And I was pain on my body. I was standing there in the afternoon like this. Say, I failed. And you see, between that 300 level, my father got sick and he died. The one that used to tell everybody, this is my son. I'm the only son he had. Stop. This is my son. Now take Noah. Medicine will lead. That was the person I was willing to make proud. More than the one that died for my sin. That was the person I was willing to do what he says. More than what God says. I never brought myself to a point to tell him that, Dad, I believe God wants me to preach. Never till he died. Not once. Never. Ever. Look. I, I went back home to enter mechanical. And I started mechanical engineering. 200. No. That loud thing, I spent 10 years there. Full time. 10 years. 1999 to 2009. Direct. When I got into 300 level, I'm serious now. Pay close attention. And by the way, I finished. They gave a guy, he was in 300 level when I was in 100 level. They gave him a job as a lecturer. He's now a doctor in that department. I will not mention his name. Because somebody might know him. And so, when we were, when I was in 400 level, it was like a week or so to exam of first semester. About six of us were standing in front of the corridor of that mech engine block. So the civil is here. Agrita Nani is here. Mech engine is here. You know what is, he called me? Anything only kill our hour? I'm sure no I went and bought it. Then he told me, I'm going to go to the I'm I could not go to school for three days after that. I was always weeping. I knew where I was supposed to be. But I wasn't there. See, if I was suffering for doing right, I would be proud of myself. Hello. So I started. I am a concentrated Manchester United fan, my friends. Registered. My youth, I am telling you, I come to this church. There was never a day they are showing match on Sunday evening that I miss church. I will not watch ball during church time. There are two days for, for watching ball. Saturday and what? Sunday. I never watch ball on Saturday. I go so early. Trying to corner God. That God, I'm doing your will. You see, partial obedience is total disobedience. So when I challenge you to arise, I know what I'm saying. That God has something for you and you have chosen not to do it. Do you know that I never led a classmate of mine to Christ all through my 10 years in love? Not one. Never, ever. You know why? I was not at the center of God's will for me. 
Now, have I said it's a crime to go to LaTeX? No. That was my own stuff. My own stuff. Where I was what? I did. Man, in 2009, I got out of that stuff. In fact, I came from Bible College to defend my, def- my, my, my final project. I, and that ungodliness did not work. Solar-powered automatic dust. That thing did not work. And we spent a lot of money on it. Solar panel. Dust. I just came. Because I was like you. I didn't know that five stuff. Let me break down the five stuff that we all hide under. And after that, I'll tell you a story of a missionary and I'll give you three invitations and I'm done. The first stuff we all hide under is the stuff of family. Do you know why you are not doing God's view? You say, hey, I was born out of wedlock. Who says somebody that was born out of wedlock cannot be used of God? Say, hey, I came from a poor family. So? Is that why God cannot use you? Hey, I'm from a super. Okay, I'm from India, Alakpo. God used Alakpo people. There was just an Alakpo great man that passed on this year. See my family. What what happens to your family? Come on. See my family will not allow me. That's why you will not do God's will. Listen to me. Get out of this stuff. Because look. Ah. In the midst of stuff. Nobody will see you. Nothing will be relevant about you. Until you get out of this stuff. Until you get out of the stuff of family, you will not be exactly what God wants you to be. Say in our family, they don't use to, they don't used to stay pure. They have to get pregnant before marriage. You've got to be the first one that will arise and say, I am not following the same trend in this family. How many of you have watched that film? Esiajoji. Every first son of the king dies at age 30. The guy had to ask his father, how, you did not wonder how I did it that I'm already 37. He said because the whole prince of glory was hung for me. Get out of the stuff. It will not help you. Get out of the stuff. Eh, our family. In our family, we have to be. I'm about on the One year good family, wow. See what I'm a big. You hide under things that will not bring you up. Number one, family. Here we are together. Number two, friends. Stuff for friends. You know why you don't come to church on Sunday evenings apart from Sunday morning? And in fact, when you go to church on Sunday morning, you have an envelope you use to wrap your Bible. And some of you don't even come again with Bible. Say, Pastor, we what? Project it. I don't mind projecting it. Some of you say, I have Bible on my phone. It's a lie. You are not reading Bible. You are, you are chatting with your friend in the midst of service. Facebooking, Instagramming, tweeting, Yahweh. Some of you will even look for Maga in the midst of service. You need to get out of the stuff of friends. Say, my friend will laugh at me. That's why. Ah! But our friend had an accident. I think it was a fire accident, myself and Pastor Samuel. We used to go and visit her in UCH. Her name was in Kafashes in that time. She lives in the US now, so you know. Uh, Basically, I like walking beside those boys that put lab coat on, call it overall. Lab coat. Lab coat, I'm going to see you in the room. I'm going to see you in the room. I'm going to see you in the room. 
going to become a doctor. Me, me like him, I like my pastor. Stay with me, friends. You know why you are not in the will of God? Because your friend gives you that new song every week. OPP. So, I don't know go. You know what? You watch part of it. That boy, one boy from Calabar, in the middle of, of doing missionary story, when they say, Opa, now I ask him, what's the meaning of Opa? He doesn't know the meaning. I say, It used to pain me. How in our ears pain you? Is that not the way you used to sing Shaki Tipo Boy every time? One corner. Because your friends teach you to sing it. I am coming back. Say my friends will laugh at me if I go to church on Sunday evening. If I go on Wednesday evening, they will call me Yajesu. Okay, it's better they call you Yeshu. You've got to pick one. Let them just remove J and it becomes what? Yeshu. Some of you, they look at you and say, you will marry a pastor. You say, God forbid, bad thing. So what will my friend be saying? So, it is Yahoo boy that is good thing. The one that will put calabash under the chair where you will sit. The one that will never slap you, you say it's a bad thing. Ah, Mrs. is Oduye, you and did do? Doctor, I never and did do? Everyone want your pastor. Say that one, you are not Mrs. Adesha, you are not one. Okay, I went doctor. Mrs. Akadini, you are not one. You are not one. You are not one. Somebody look at me one day and say, Pastor, you are not one. You are not one. You are not one. You are not one. You are not so ya kaye wo you are hiding under the stuff of friends say my friends when does your friend become the determinant of doing god's will why would your friend be the determinant of the direction you should go and it is not god's word again Thing we hide under, we hide under the stuff of fear. The Bible says, God has not given us the spirit of fear. You know why you have not taken that step of faith to even get baptized? Say, so when I enter water, what will happen? Have you ever heard that somebody got baptized and got drowned in baptism? Ordinary baptism is a special assignment for you. You don't know that if you are saved and you are not scripturally baptized, you are living in rebellion. When Jesus was baptized, the Bible says God spoke from heaven, says, This is my word, the Lord said. In whom I am warrior, what? Say, I am afraid. I have phobia. Phobia for water. You that you don't have phobia for pornography, you have phobia for water. What is that God's will for you? I have said my own. Amen. Are you in this in the in, in the stuff of family? Stuff of friends, stuff of fear, stuff of failure. Stay with me now. When I Started going to victory in the Pentecost Baptist Church. Ever do? They do this thing they call bus routes, and it is to invite people to church. So they put me in a thing, bola. Pastor Smith traveled. 
Do you know that if I go to Akumbola that time, as soon as people see me, they start running. If they say bus stop failed, that was a serious failure. So one boy, he told me, ah, me, I will come. Just give me the transport. Now I'll give him money. Say I'll be wait for him for church. October while I roll He didn't show up. So Pastor Smith came back from the state and said, Tell me, where is Holy Spirit walk in your bus route? I said, they did not come. He said, he said, it's not a matter of it not come. Did you pray? I said, yes, I did. But nobody showed up. That bus route failed. That means me, that I was going there. What did I do? There is a younger man that some of you know, brother, they were additional. That same program he, that we were running bus for, he brought 120 students to church. People. He's not even children. Me, huh? I brought what? If you see me walk now, you will think I have magnet for children in my body. I have failed once, but initial failure is not overall failure. Something has failed. I have failed in medical school. I have failed in, in running a bus route once. But I can sit under that failure and, and sit there and say, I'm not doing anything again. Let me tell you, in 2013, I started another one. Except for one family. I used to bring from one compound at least 60 children to church from one area. On the major street of Mokola, I used to bring 60 children to Numana Baptist Church. And I'm telling you, except for four of them, Magdalene Jackson, Christiana Jackson, um, Michael Jackson, and their little brother. Today is his birthday, Anthony Jackson. I'm telling you, apart from those four, that I went to their house and said, start coming to my church. Parents used to bring children for me to take them to your church. I give you. If I had sat in that thing of failure one time, would I be able to make a difference? You know, some of you, because you fail one time, you say you are not doing it again. It's not a reason. Saul so, was hiding in the store, and nobody saw him. Now, but when they hid in the store, and nobody saw him. You see, as far as I am, and I am a very, very no money person. I will tell you, evangelist, I have program that I run on television like this, too, that I have never paid one error out of my pocket for. And the Lord has paid for every time. Me that they used to run from. When I got out of the stuff, the Lord showed up. Stay with me now. Finally. I said we run in, we, we hide in the stuff of family, friends, fear. We run in the, in the stuff of what? Failure. We run in the stuff of fun. Say I'm still young. I want to catch fun. If I accept Jesus now, I will not be able to fornicate again. Yes, because you will have Holy Spirit to teach you not to do that. If I come to Faith Baptist Church now, but that's why we'll be preaching against me and you'll be telling me those truths and those truths, they are too hard for me. I'm not doing it. If I, if, I, if I start teaching a Bible club, if I start getting involved in Sunday school, if I start getting involved in cleaning the church, I will have to avoid doing some things so that people will say, people will love my Jesus. Say, I'm still young, let me have fun. There is no more fun than doing the will of God. Let me tell you that it is fun doing the will of God. It is fun following the word of God. It is fun doing it the way God wants it. It's fun to sing Bible songs. It's not fun to sing Kolomenta. 
Baba Eloma run down. I want to come and come back to our university. That, that boy opposite my room, he will sing every day. Food, no day. That's what he plays every day. They play songs of violence. They play songs of, 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 of premarital sex. And you think it's fun. That's not fun. What's fun is godliness. What's fun is, is serving the Lord Jesus. What's fun is passing tracks out. What's fun is seeing somebody said. What's fun is helping somebody to get out of the stuff. Man, this is fun preaching today. Get out of the stuff. It will not help you. I read about one missionary by the name William Borden. William Borden was the son of a very rich man. And in fact, maybe his father was the third producer, highest producer of sugar in the United States. And then William would go to church and, 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 he, and one day he had preaching and he surrendered to preach. And when William did surrender to preach, he went to his father and he explained to his family and everybody turned against him. Listen to me. And when we, and everybody turned against William, William went and wrote in his Bible at the back, no reserve. You know what he meant? Though no one joins me, still I will follow. No turning back. No turning back. His father told him he will lose his inheritance as the only son to actually get that sugar producing company. And he said, no reserve. He was not rude to the father. He was not rude to anybody. Are you listening to me? He just kept doing what he believes God wants him to do. So they let him go. So he went to Egypt to actually get trained, to actually be able to speak Arabian languages. And then he caught meningitis there. And so when he caught meningitis, he became very sick. Listen, people of God. And then somebody told him, William, go back home. You can get help, medical help, and get well. And William wrote at the back of his Bible again, no retreats. Say, I'm not going back. It is forward ever. It is backward never. I am going to follow through the will of God for me. You know, it's very sad. He never made it to the mission trip field. And in the, in the boat, or in the ship, I don't know what to call it, William Borden died. But before he died, he wrote it with a shaky hand. No regrets. I know one thing for sure. Whether in life or in death, there is no regret in doing the will of God. You step out of the will of God, there is great regret. You don't come out there. Then the person Babylonian in the class. Afari. Mosunku Loleni. You don't have to go to the Out of the will of God, there is much regret. In the center of the will of God, no. You sing I surrender all, but you are supposed to sing I surrender some. Because it, you have always been in the stuff. Can you imagine? Saul was already prophesying, and somebody was asking, Was Saul a prophet? He came to the time of unveiling. He was hiding in the stuff. When they brought him out, he was higher than anybody. From his shoulder, everybody was below him. You hide in the stuff, nobody sees you. Nobody sees God's glory in your life. Nobody's blessed through you. You get out of the stuff with no reserve. With no retreat, it is promised. It will be no no regrets. 
Get out of stuff, my friend. It's not a place for you. Don't sit in the stuff. Find the will of God and do it. Heads about eyes are closed.